Son of a... Okay, you are attracting in a deep conversation because somebody just loves the crap out of you, okay? Whoever this person is to you, this is true love. This is real love. This isn't couple of dates love. This isn't puppy love or like limerence love. This is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? And when you and this person come together, so first of all, we're like looking in each other's eyes. We're having this conversation like... The conversation goes deep and you both get to see this side of the other person that you have not seen before and it makes you guys magnetic to each other because now like maybe for one or both of you this has been the deepest intimately emotionally you've ever gotten so it's it feels special. Like, it feels more special than the other relationships, for some reason, calling in your soulmate at the bottom of the deck. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, for some of you, you could be trying to manifest a reconciliation. So, if you're trying to manifest a reconciliation with somebody specific, they want you to know that the issue is, the thing you need to learn is, the reason you guys are apart is the codependency. Okay. And the reason if you're like single and trying to manifest a new person, the lesson that the universe is trying to get you to learn is codependency. So codependency is like, well, I'm sad and I'm lonely and I'm not happy, but all of a sudden now I've gone on a few dates and I like somebody and they like me and now I'm happy and now I'm giddy and now I'm like acting this way. That shows that your emotions, your feeling and your vibration was dependent on you potentially being in a relationship. That's what codependency is. So what you need to do is learn how to be happy by yourself. I just got a text message for confirmation. See, I don't need your text message. Okay, but that was from a friend, not from a boy. So that's way better anyways. But go out with your friends. Yes, because it will help alleviate the pressure. That will alleviate the pressure. And you can, you can like exchange that loving energy with your hoes and homies. You know, like you don't have to be banging all of them, but you can go do fun stuff. You could do the stuff that you would want to do with the partner. You can travel. You guys can go out to music, but they want you to have a lot of fun here. Like don't, there's sad energy that is deceiving you. What does that mean? Two, three, four. That just means like, it's never going to happen. Yeah, right. I'm going to be alone forever. Love isn't for me. Like all of these things that do not feel good when I'm saying them, right? Like they didn't feel good when you were hearing them, did they? Because it's not true, right? The reason it doesn't feel good is because it's not true. So let's say some things that are actually true, okay? I deserve love. I'm ready for love. I want love. I want to know what it feels like to be in this relationship. And that is exactly what is going to free you and help you stop attracting like unrequited love situations too, where either like you're not interested, but they're super interested or vice versa. Like you're interested and then the other person's not. So this is going to help you fixing this codependency issue. Okay.